guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am finally getting up for you my three looks, one palette video using the Jeffree Star Alien palette. Yippee! I know this has been a long time coming and you guys have been waiting very patiently for it, so let's just jump right into the video. This is the first look. I have two more for you after this. Let's get started. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any uploads. Also, if you're excited about this video and you like my three looks at one palette videos, hit the thumbs up button. For those of you that don't know, every look in this palette or every look in this video is supposed to be able to be achieved in 10 minutes or less. These are wearable looks. These are easy looks. These are looks that anybody with any level of expertise should be able to recreate. That is what this video is for. So if, that, if you're into that, Awesome, let's do it. Okay guys, so as usual, I have primed my lid with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is consistently my favorite eyeshadow base um, out of everything I've tried, and I've had it for years and years and years. It's just one of those tried and true good products that I love. Um, all right, so to start off, I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush. This is just a Sephora Pro Tapered Crease, and I'm gonna dip into Gravity just a tiny bit. These shadows do have a fair amount of fallout um, in the pan, so just be aware of that. And the brush picks up a lot of product, so just kind of use a really light hand. I'm sorry if you guys can hear beeping in the background. It is the plows out in my apartment complex. Um, we did have a snow day today from school, which I'll be honest, no matter how old you get, snow days still feel like how they felt when you were, you know, 12 years old and wearing your pajamas inside out. They are just amazing. And I didn't get a chance to film over the weekend. Things have just been a little crazy going into Martian soil. Probably one of my favorite colors of all time. Definitely one of my favorite colors in the palette. It's just like this wicked, wicked, unique, gorgeous, ugh, mustard color. I just love it so much. And this is a Morphe R37. Um, things have been a little crazy lately. We've been getting some more stuff for the baby's room. We are in an apartment, so we're kind of using the guest room as like the baby's room. Ugh. Lighting's killing me. Um, it's a little crazy. I'm actually filming in a different room today. I'm filming in our den, which the natural lighting is amazing in here, but it's one of those days where the sun kind of keeps popping out. And when the sun pops out, it blasts everything in the frame and it totally washes me out. So I do apologize about that. Just know that if I do get washed out for a second, I will go back to normal momentarily. Um, so just popping Martian soil all throughout the crease using a light hand, really kind of like blowing it out and bringing it up towards the brow. Um, but yeah, so things have been a little crazy. We are definitely gaining um, stuff for the baby's room. Like I was saying, we are, this is interstellar on a little 124. We just got the crib on Saturday. And so that room is now feeling a little cramped. That's usually the room that I film in, but it's filling up quickly with all the baby's stuff. So, um, it's kind of like our guest room slash baby's room. It's like both. So I'm not really sure. I'm filming in our den right now, like I was saying, and it's actually a really good room to film in. It's just not my usual, so I'm not used to like the lighting and stuff. Going into phone home and this little Real Techniques brush and just tapping it on the outer corner and blending it in with Interstellar. So yeah, I feel like I'm all over the place today. Um, I did not have time to film over the weekend, so it was very nice that we ended up having a snow day today so I could get this video in. I know you guys have been waiting for this video very, very patiently, I might add. Um, and the reason I haven't done it is because these three looks videos take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, they're probably the most effortful video I do. It's just, it's doing three complete looks, including lips, and it's just, yeah, it's kind of a lot of work. Um, so I just haven't had really a lot of energy for it, but since we have had the long weekend with the snow day, dipping into gravity in Martian soil, and just popping it right under the eye. 
Since we have had the long weekend, I'm feeling pretty refreshed and pretty rested. So I felt like, okay, today's a good day for me to bang this video out and get it up for you guys. Um, plus, I just absolutely love using this palette. It's so much fun in the um, phone home. The quality is incredible. So I actually think I like this palette formula better than blood sugar. Unpopular opinion there but it's just so, so good. So creamy. So these are, I basically just used all the most neutral shades in the palette. From here on out, the looks are going to incorporate some color, but for those of you guys like myself that love a neutral, back in with Interstellar and a pencil brush. Um, for those of you guys like myself that really love your neutrals, this is a perfect neutral look. It's just a really, really easy smoky eye. I've done a variation of this a bunch of times just for like going out for like errands and not really errands. That's a complete lie because I don't wear makeup for errands. But um, like going out for dinner and stuff like that, this is a very typical look that I will do. Just smoky, clean, fresh, super, super glowing skin. If you want to see how I got my skin, I'm going to pop it up on Instagram. You can see all the products that I used um, back in with the 124 and just the tiniest bit of Pluto because this color is ridiculously pigmented and I'm just going to pop that directly under the brow and that's going to be about it for the whole first look guys of course as always you can tone up and tone down exactly to your liking but I absolutely love this look I would wear this look every day of my life um, it's just really like right up my alley. So this is the first look. I'm going to pop on some mascara. As you guys know, I only use false lashes for one look in this series. Um, just to show you guys that you can still do a nice look without using false lashes. I very rarely wear false lashes out. I normally just wear regular mascara, but my lashes are teeny tiny baby right now. I don't know if it's the pregnancy or the fact that I stopped using my grow serum, but my lashes are like short right now. So I apologize about that. But I'm going to pop on some mascara, I'm going to zoom you in, then I'm going to show you fi the final look with lips, and here's look, look number one. <laughs> see, there's the sun. Do you see that? How, how much of a difference it makes? It's like, pow. Alright, I'll be back. Okay guys, so no lie, the second look was a struggle. I had a whole separate look and I ended up taking it off completely because I hated it. Uh, Flying Saucer, that kind of bright forest green is very hard to work with. It's probably the hardest to work with color in the palette. Um, and I just, it's just kind of patchy for me. So I had a look with that color and I had to abandon it because it did not look good. So I'm just going in with Martian Soil just to kind of gently set the stage. Again with my R. 37. This is why these videos are so um, labor intensive because oftentimes I don't like the first look that I do and I have to kind of play around with different looks. So I end up doing like four or five looks instead of just three um, because oftentimes my first attempt doesn't really work out that well. Okay, so next I'm going to take just a flat shader brush. This one is by Real Techniques and I'm going to coat Moonrock. Moonrock is a very soft shade. A lot of, a lot kicks up in the pan, um, and I can tell if you were to use that one every day, it would probably run out relatively quickly, like quicker than the others, just because it is soft and it seems like it's, it's packed a little bit less firmly than the others. Um, so I'm just kind of packing that all over the lid. It's a beautiful color. 
Um, definitely more cool tone, but as you can see, there's a lot of fallout happening. I struggled on this side a little bit with the fallout as well, so just be aware of that. Um, now I'm going to grab... What did I do next? I think I... I'm going to take X-Files, which is like a really, really unique, taupey, cool tone brown. And I'm just going to pat that in the outer corner just to set the stage. We're going to use a blending brush, but sometimes I find that this just kind of helps start things off. Then I'm going to grab an M433 and just X-Files again. And just really kind of smoke out that outer corner. Connect it inward. If you are into cool tones, you're going to love this X-Files shade. It's a really nice transition color slash smoky eye color for cool. That's a cool tone. Um, one of the, th there's actually quite a few cool tones in this palette, which is kind of nice for a change. Although I find warm tones to be infinitely more flattering on me. I do like cool tones just to switch it up. So as you can see, I'm really gently moving the brush around because I don't want to disrupt the glitter of Moon Rock because I'm already getting a lot of fallout and I don't want to make more, more of a mess for myself than I have to. All right, so I'm just kind of blending that out with basically a clean brush. All right, next I'm going to take an a Sigma E20 and I'm going to fully coat the brush with Space at Cowboy. And I'm going to stamp slash run that color all along the lash line and wing it out ever so slightly. We're pretty much going to blend the wing in, but it's going to give us a little bit more color out there. Bring it most of the way in, like so. And now I'm going to go back in with that shading brush and a little more X-Files and just kind of feather that color upward. Because again, I don't want the wing to be prominent. I just want it to be like a suggestion, if you will. So now back in with the blending brush, just kind of melding everything together, bringing it inward. Okay, now for the lower lash line, it's going to be relatively simple. I'm going to grab UFO, which is a stunning gold shade. And I'm going to run that all along the lower lash line. We're kind of going for like a mixed metals vibe on this one. Like so. And then I'm going to take a little bit of X-Files and connect it, I'm gonna run it underneath UFO and connect it up and again, just sort of feather it upwards. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but I'm getting a ton of fallout, which is kind of messing with me a little bit. This is what's hard about doing the base first, but it just looks so much better to have a base done when I'm doing these eye looks for you guys. Okay, let's see where we're at here. It's looking pretty even. That's basically the whole second look, guys. Um, I'm just gonna touch up my mascara. Oh, there's the sun. Here. Here comes the sun, little darling. Here comes the sun, I say. You know what, maybe we should, I was going to say brighten it up a little bit with Pluto, but no, we're going to leave it a little, we're going to leave it a little on the grungy side. Maybe I'm just going to take Titan, which is that cream shade, matte cream, and just very gently clean up under the brow. Blend it. Okay guys, so while that sun is heading behind a cloud again, I'm going to 
add a little bit more mascara. Someone commented on one of my other three looks videos that my mascara looks clumpy. Yes, my mascara is going to look clumpy um, because I am adding another layer to it, which normally I don't do, but I do like to just top it off um, so it takes off the eyeshadow that's there, like the residue. So sorry if they do look a little bit clumpy, but um, I'm going to do all that, zoom you in, show you the final look, and we'll be on to look number three. Okay guys, so the final look is actually really quick and easy, but I really wanted to use this gorgeous probe shade because it's so stunning. Um, so I'm going to grab my R37 again and Gravity and just very gently buff that above the crease just to create a little bit of dimension. No, son! Shit. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little shader brush. Again, this one is by Real Techniques. And I'm going to take Probe. It's a little hard because my lashes are done, but I'm going to press that only a, like two thirds of the way across the lid because I don't want this to shut my eye off. And then I press it up against the tape. And hopefully you can see that shade. It's so pretty. It's like a duochrome. And that's all I'm going to do with that. And then I'm going to grab a little brush this is the this is an e36 and a tiny bit of tall gray you want to like wipe the majority off because it's super pigmented and we're just going to use this to smoke out that wing okay i'm going to remove the tape so we have two really, really sharp wings, and I'm just like obsessed with how that looks. Sorry, it got kind of dark in here, guys. We're almost done. You can, of course, go back in with your R37 and a little more gravity. And I'm using like the lightest hand imaginable. Just, I don't want to disrupt the wing. Now I'm going to leave the bottom lash line totally blank, but I am going to take a, another little brush and Pluto. Again, super pigmented shade, so you want to kind of use with caution. And I'm just going to pop that in the inner corner just to brighten things up a bit. And under the brow. Alright, and that is the final look. I'm going to pop on some lashes for this one. And yeah, then we're going to be just about done. I'll show you the final look and that's it. Okay guys, so that completes the video. I really, really, really hope you liked these three looks. 
If nothing else, hopefully it just gave you a little bit of inspiration to take these ideas and play off them. Any one of these looks, the colors can be swapped. So this look right here, you could do with the green, you could do with the purple, you could do with Space Cowboy, you could really do with so many shades. So just play around with it. This uh, video is really for inspiration for you guys. Um, and hopefully the looks were easy to follow and you feel like you can recreate them. That is the main purpose and goal of these videos. So um, thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.